Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. We are looking at the second last mission of this campaign. We're playing the um, newest expansion, which is called Legacy. This is a blind run. I'm not knowing any of the missions in advance and we're playing on Nightmare difficulty. I would say let's uh, get going. Commander Saiken is uh, going to rush in. As always, the game incentivizes us um, to start on target position now. with an aggressive strategy. We're seeing this huge house here and our protect the device is just literally behind the corner. I'm thinking whether or not we want to take the high ground there. Let's take a peek first who's in here. Okay. Yeah, we're we're going to move in downstairs the only exception that i would do is if we can actually take the high ground here i took a new approach yep Let's move up to here, and last but not least, I think... What? We can't even get up there? Okay, never mind. Let's still take the high ground with a sniper. I want to engage next turn. So let's see where these guys are gonna go. That's a huge mistake. Oh, nice, a sectopod. Hello, welcome. This, by the way, is the device that we're trying to save. This scout may be outdated by advent standards, but I know they'll throw whatever they can our way to prevent us from reaching it. It's easy for us to think their technology is light years beyond our understanding, but in truth it's not. And I think they know it too. Can we get up here? Yes, we can. My life is in your hands. Can we furthermore? Oh yes, we can. Well, that's going to that's going to hurt, guys. Look at this. That's going to be our double grenade start. Right here, right now. So, two times damage from the grenades, plus the falling damage. <laughs> okay, I, I snickered a bit because that was actually quite funny. Lily, I think you might want to finish that heavy mech. Okay. We are still um, cloaked with our ranger. All right. So 
So here's the deal. These four downstairs. I think it was four. I, I think I saw four. Anyways, if they move, we do have a kill zone quite ready for them. Moving over here. And I would say we should go as far as possible. So we definitely have the sector port pack. And if I'm not mistaken, there was a second sector port. And this here is the gatekeeper. Yeah, four of them. Any extra shots, maybe? No? For all its sophistication and power, the alien's tech is actually very intuitive. When I think of all the lost time Dad and I spent trying to play catch-up instead of just learning from them. I'm not saying Valen was right, but there has to be a middle ground. If we want to win this war. So... We know all of them are behind that wall. How far could we throw a shrapnel? I guess potentially not far enough. I don't know, I mean, it's gonna be close. Person. Come on. Just a bit further. Hmm. Yeah, so close. bit short of actually hitting something. The question is, am I still going to do it? Just to shred uh, that uh, gatekeeper. We would hit everyone with the exception um, of the Archon, which isn't the worst idea. With the dual explosion, the Gatekeeper would actually be... Oh wow, we're in the middle of the fire. Well, might as well embrace it and grapple ourselves out of it next turn. So this would deal substantial amounts of damage to the gatekeeper. I wish we would hit at least a second unit, but I think it's it's pointless. We can't hit another unit. Wait, wait, wait. We can. We can actually hit three of them. 
We'll grapple ourselves over here, but that would be dangerous. Boy, that would be dangerous. I don't know whether or not there's another pack over here. We know that there's one pack here, one pack here. Technically, that's four packs, so that should be it. But that would be a bold move. No. I want to play it safe. So this should hit all three of them, plus the explosion or, uh, should trigger the claymore. Let's go, baby. Yeah. Successfully so. One down. Still gatekeeper and the um, and the codex to go. I don't want to use the capacitator discharge yet. I think that would be wasteful. Trying to hit him. Yeah, that's much better. These are much better odds. We're going to use the the mimic beacon of our um, of our skirmisher instead. Hell yeah! What a nice hit. Yeah, trigger free action, great. I would want to use Comet Protocol, but apparently that's not possible. What we could do though is we could EMP bomb. Oh, wait a second, if we have sector pods, uh, we might want to. Hmm. Yeah, the EP bomb can shut down the sector pod. I think that's too valuable just to throw it away. So, in which case, capacitator discharge is the better option. Rover, give him the juice. It's also disoriented, which means uh, that prevents it from actually taking, uh, actually um, replicating itself. The clone ability is suppressed. Battle scanner. I 
<laughs> oh, we just triggered the big boy. <sighs> there was this very, very, very small moment in time when I thought we're just okay, everything's fine. At least moving up. Can we hit both sides? No, we need to make a choice. We're probably going to go uh, for the sector pot. But before we do that, let's actually take our reaver and scout the situation. remote start anything that we can blow up no of course not we have the option to completely unload on this guy but that's pretty much it um, what we could do though is this here could actually be helpful <clears throat> to reduce uh, the armor So let's slowly progress. Rocket launcher. And this should remove the barricade in the middle, which means now our grenade from Lily will be more impactful. Throw the MP bomb, baby. So, let's just think for that. Uh, think about that for a second. No, we still can't explode anything. We got the option to just kill these guys with death from above. Ranger wouldn't be able to reach them, so I might as well uh, use him to throw the Mimic Beacon. Which kind of brings us to these folks here. Here is going to be the first kill. We're going to have death from above. Stop. 
moving out of the fire. Dead eye. Still not a hundred percent hit. The sectopod has too much armor left over. This here is a gambo, one which I would want to take after actually killing this guy here. So Although justice would be nice because it's a 100% hit, we would end up uh, pulling him up here and that means death from above wouldn't be triggered. Also he has sustenance so I'm not sure if death from above triggers at all. That's a bit of an issue, Admitted, admittedly. Which means this guy maybe will not die. And this here is 88% chance, which only leaves us with the, um, the sector pot. Yeah, and we won't be able to see him. God damn it. No run and gun. I was trying to find a way how we might be able to not use our Mimic Beacon, but that's almost not going to happen. We could try to go with Banish, problem is Banish will definitely uncover us. And that means the tower has a free shot, which I don't want to be honest. So, we're going to start with the one that we could kill, but it's only 88% chance. Trying to set up uh, the sector portal, I'm honestly not sure if this is going to work. It would need to be a crit or really good hit. Yeah, it's not. And 16 hit points are too much. Not really a chance. Kill the sector port. Problem is the tower is still going to be alive. Yeah, grappling hook is off. I do have an idea how we could kill the sector pod. It's basically going to be banish, unload on the sector pod. Sector pod will take so much damage that we can finish it with uh, our sniper, and then afterwards kill the tower. At the no at the moment, no one is in the range of the tower though, so by shooting the sector pod with our reaper, we would get uh, we would become visible. There is a second pack around here. And I really don't want to do that. So 
Although it's pretty anticlimactic, you have to know the moments in time when you're actually not supposed to fight. There's the Mimic Beacon. There's a totally surprised tower. Oh my god, a Mimic Beacon. enough I think we did reasonably well also that round did this thing just destroy the mimic beacon by running over it no the mimic beacon fell down and now the tower has a free line of sight but luckily misses well fuck you sector pod Alright, let's uh, scout again. This time we're moving up to here. I just want to make sure we still have the sector port in our view. Just miss a hundred percent shot. Oh no, this guy just has so much hit points and armor. We need to shred it first. even done there is oh my god uh, I wanted the 260,000 how is it possible that we already flawless that mission so we either can get uh, the improved versions wrath suit really just has more hit points and the exosuit has a larger explosive that's fine, but here we do have superior perception twice, uh, to superior speed twice, and I think we're going to go with the combat sims. Rapid fire, really good. Threat assessment, really good. She already has her capacitator discharge. The threat assessment is really good. Well, it would be better if she actually would have um, a protocol, but it's Lily, so she doesn't take supportive abilities. Yeah, that's okay. Rupture is really good. Serial is not needed with our sniper. It's fine. We're good. Engineers log, day 145. Took a few days, but I managed to decode the data I recovered from the scout. The damn thing the AI managed to destroy anything pertaining to its civilian scans, but I did manage to recover the location of a crashed advent transport ship a few sectors away. Those ships run on the same power supply as the Avenger. 
If there's a functioning stabilization unit in the wreckage, we can finally turn on the reactor core. Without blowing up the entire ship. Nice. The impact of this is in concealment. Ugh, hold on. Rover, no! Ugh, end log. We're on approach to the crashed alien transport. Oh, enemy kills 55,500. We're in for a big fight here, guys. I'm looking forward for that. Um, so that's going to happen once once we're uh, once we're actually doing the mission. See you on the next mission, and thank you so much for watching. It has been a pleasure as always. Bye bye.